Hey there, Mountaineers. Today we've got one published by Hidden Traps and Dolores Entertainment. And it was developed by Salix Games. I believe this is only like their second game. And uh, uh, it's, it's really, really good quality. We've covered uh, some Dolores Entertainment stuff before, like Ice Cream Surfer, as well as uh, Gold Boy. And I really enjoyed those. This is Duloc and Faye and the Dance of Death. And you can get this currently for around fifteen dollars uh... it's a story about uh... jack the ripper and these two characters it's a man and a dog uh... the the dog was you know turned into a dog it's actually a woman and uh, she'll help you do investigations like some things the male lead he can investigate and he can see and uh... people characters he can talk to and then the dog, she's able to talk to animals, and she's also to able to investigate the crime scene as well, from uh, like an animal perspective, like smell and things like that that the human wouldn't notice. So you kind of get to do like a, you know, like a little mystery story, but with two different characters. Uh, the story was uh, done by Philip Huxley, which also did uh, Batman: Arkham Knight, as well as. Jessica Saunders, and that's some really quality voice acting from uh, Pertita Weeks, that she was Kira in Player One, Gareth David Lloyd, D Lloyd which is uh, in Dragon Age, as well as Alexander Roach, which was Carrie in Black Mirror. I'll, I'll show you a little sample of some of the voice acting. The voice acting it's really, it's really, really uh, quality. It's, it's done really, really well, and it really helps with the story a lot. Um, I really enjoyed the story in this one. But uh, let's get just a little sample of that voice acting for you, so uh, here you go. How sound this? We moved with haste through a labyrinth of narrow tunnels. Do Chenta Hun. Brormin! Espen! We had been a broke brood for some time ago. I am life for day. I saw him die. It was fear in the eyes of him. See, like I said, some really quality work. Uh, it it's, takes place in like Victorian London during the Autumn of Terror, and uh, if you if you enjoyed the Sherlock Holmes games, uh, I, I think it might be even better than those. At least some of those. I, I enjoyed those as well. But this one, uh, I don't know. I was really impressed and surprised with this. I didn't expect this one to be as good as it was. I, I had such a good time with the story. And it, it pulls you in and uh, keeps you there. It's one of the better stories I've played in a game like this. And like one of these point and click adventures. It, it kind of feels retro at times too. It kind of reminds you of those old school PC point and clicks. Except for the fact that. It looks really, really good. The per whoever did the art style on this, the game looks amazing. And this is just a really well-developed game for a game. Like I said, I think it's their first or second game. So I was really, really surprised by this one. I, I really look forward to see what these guys do in the future because this one is just really, really great all around. Like everything about it's just nearly perfect. Like the like I said, the voice acting spot on. Some really great characters, some really great storytelling. Uh, it's not overly difficult. Uh, sometimes it could be, you know, hard to find what you need to point on or click next. But you have different options as well, so it, it can go different ways. Um, and I don't know. It just it, it's just done so. It's just done really, really well. You're gonna like all the characters. Uh, they're they're going to you know they're gonna draw draw a lot of interest from you. You're you're going to you know want to play this. Uh, and one playthrough, really, it, I, it was hard to step away from it. You know, once I got pulled into the story, you know, it's really hard to get away from. And, uh, you know, it's got horror elements. It's got funny moments. It's just got a little bit of everything. Uh, it's just over overall just a really quality uh, game. I, I can't really think of any cons for this. Uh, I liked even, like, the villains, you know, like the creepy creatures and stuff like that everything just is so entertaining and fun and uh you know it just gives you everything that you look forward to in a game like this uh scares thrills mystery adventure it's got its funny moments as well 
So this is really, really enjoyable. That's why I'm giving it a really nice score of 8 overall. I think most people that get into these types of games is going to be really impressed and, uh, you know, really addicted to this one. I definitely recommend this one. If you like point and click adventures, you like mysteries, you know, you like story driven games. This one right here is for you. Uh, definitely worth your time. Definitely worth your money. It seems kind of like a steal for $15. So definitely add this one to your collection. If it sounds interesting to you, but thanks for watching guys. Thanks for the support. As always, see you in the leaderboards.